Moving on to Cancerians. Welcome, my loves. How are you? Welcome to your weekly energies, weekly reading, third week in November, the week when the sun moves from Scorpio, the watery fellow, and to the Sagittarius, fiery energy. As well, Cancerians, this week there's a lot of shifting, especially with the new moon in Sag at the end on the 23rd, 24th. A lot of shifts. Jupiter starts to go direct, which was retrograde. Venus enters Sagittarius. Mars is retrograde still and will be there for quite a little bit till the next year, but that's not really affecting you personally, but I feel here will affect certain things you probably want to go after. But as well, very few planets are retrograde, so that's not a whole big deal. Let's see, loves, what this week comes in for you. What are those energies the Spirit wants to bring at this time? And what we have. There's some Cancerians that quite planning some travels or do travel. It's more likely the travels happens probably for the holidays. But I see a lot of travel, a lot of movement. For some of you, there is a trip you might take in it. It's, it's kind of not really far away. There's kind of a trip you, you could go, you know, family, but the not, not far away family were not, it's not kind of international. For some of you might be, but it's more likely it's not far, far, far away. Three of Cups, World, Page of Swords, Three of Swords. For some of you, it's kind of ending certain things, but also hurts, whatever ends. But hurts because you, you could look for more at the right time. Because Page of Swords is kind of looking what was wrong or what I've done wrong or why why it's me there. Let's see. Nine of Swords. Judgment. Chariot. Ten of Wands and Two of Pentacles. So it seems here for some of you you might you might let go someone and at the same time, you learn the lesson. There's a chapter here who you are kind of closing it, cutting it. I don't see you communicating anymore with this person. Could be with another Cancerian, could be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a fixed zodiac sign. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or Aquarian. The fact is that you're still kind of thinking of what was or how I could not see this because I feel here you you now thinking like why I supposed to do all the work or why I put all the work because that's what happens the two of pentacles let's see here the clarify queen of cups page of pentacles Five of Swords. It's kind of like you are still doubting. Will this person will ever come clean, or will be honest? Well, Five of Swords doesn't speak about honesty. So Five of Swords speaks of what works for me, what is good for me. Okay. Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands. So for some of you, you've been involved here with someone who could be younger than you are, but also could be someone very different in beliefs regards love. Like you might feel like, well, I can't love just one person. This person could love three people around, which for you doesn't make sense, for them do. And for some of you, you could involve here with someone who you even could be connected very strongly with them, but they've been connected with other people as well. So it seems here someone, you know, regrets. There's a Cancerian here who could be very, 
very much regretting that being involved with this person because I feel here there's a lot of things here which it's kind of I need to speak up so not allow whatever this is happening what happened the nine of swords speaks of four of swords knight of wands seven of cups and justice this person really it's that kind of person that it's kind of you you sometimes could blame on yourself but it's more likely this person that is how they are nature some people indeed they don't believe in monogamy or some people they don't believe in i gotta be with one person all my life they want to explore more so the knight of wands and the seven of cups like they they always wanted to have another option they always wanted to have something else so i see you separate from them for some of you yes could be an earth could be a fire sign could be sag as i'm i'm saying i'm seeing here but also this person indeed they they feel free to choose for for some of you may feel here yes this person was there Am I a really option? Were you, you thought very, very strongly, I don't want to be an option for someone. I want to be the option. And that's the, the fact here. The Ten of Wands here, Queen of Pentacles, Hangman, Empress, Page of Cups, King of Pentacles. So having this loves, Yes, I see you as a third energy, but I feel here the conversation with this person felt very wow to say that. Or you really felt like you truly believe that this person, they want something real, but they could not have it. But that, that was not the, the case. That was not the case. And also I have an energy for some of you Cancerians. You could be married here with someone who, who always were about some, something else. Someone else and so on. The fact is it's quite a good open eyes for you to know where you are, where you want to be, with who you want to be. So having all the queens in this reading very, very strongly speaks of that now you are allowing yourself to see where you are and where you go and with whom you are going. The chariot here speaks of seven of swords, five of pentacles, Ten of Swords and the Tower. So the fact is that you are moving away from this person. It's more likely, it's not preventing, but it's kind of the ending this connection or let go this connection. It's more likely saving you from a big trouble with this person. So sometimes... Some people brings a lot of trouble. So you are letting go them or moving away from them. It's giving that those insights like, oh my goodness, I, I prevent a big boom here for me. So yeah, there's quite a thing here, loves. Just letting go this person, you you save yourself from a from a big headache, or you save yourself from certain things here that could be have a big impact on you. Could be on you, on your health, on your money, and much more. So there's no doubt there is certain things here you you feel I could know or I wish to know, but now as you know. You can do better. The best advice for you, Cancer. 
Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Six of Swords, King of Cups. So the fact is, yes, you avoided a big, big thing here, which really, as I said, prevented you to not be in a very awkward situation or in a big scandal. Let's say that. So moving on forward, you actually are moving towards your person. The one. So sometimes, yes, it's hard to let go certain things. Because indeed we want, but always, always the universe give us what we need, not what necessary want. And what really is good for us. The other thing here we... Um, we have the Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Four of Swords. The Four of Cups is the one missing. So Four of Cups really speaks of you have a new energy coming in, but you got to let this, what doesn't fulfill you. Okay? So make room for new loves. And of course, learn from it. Discovering truth. For some of you, you are finding out certain things here regards this person. You stand in the light of truth. And I feel here you, you quite know. And mystic healer, healing energy flow through you. Heal from whatever that is. Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. And the answer is now. The, the time is now. So there is something new coming in. Now is the time to go after so, lovely Cancerians, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for in tuning with these energies. And of course, if this really connects, resonates, let us know. Comment below. Give it a like, subscribe, share it. And of course, we'll see you next time. Namaste.